Hi and welcome to this Copper Site C1 video. Uh, my name is Markus Witt. Uh, I'll be uh, quickly showing you how you can get uh, uh, SPNet MVC3 up and running in uh, Copper Site C1. Uh, this includes the uh, uh, Razor syntax. And uh, I'll just quickly run through the, uh, the steps uh, you need to go through in order to go from scratch to uh, uh, MVC Razor uh, running in Copper Site C1. Uh, first off, uh, you need to go install a web matrix. Uh, go visit the Microsoft website and download web matrix. Once you have a web matrix installed, uh, you go ask for a site from the web gallery. Now we just got added uh, recently, so you'll find us all the way down here. Uh, but you select us and uh, you uh, start the install wizard. Once you have us uh, installed, you'll have a view like uh, this, and you go ask it to run the website, and you get a, uh, a startup wizard where you can uh, select a demo site. So that's what I've done here, uh, giving me some uh, layout and default content and so on. Also, after you've installed and uh, you've gone through the setup wizards, uh, you get the cover site C1 management console, the C1 console. Uh, you go to the system perspective, you go to packages, available packages, and there you'll find uh, uh, cover site, ASP.NET, uh, MVC player. And you go install that one. I already have it installed here. Also, what uh, I've done is I've created a page. I named it Razor. I add the MVC player function that I just installed, and I've given it a path, uh, an MVC path uh, slash home. So now the uh, cover site C1 uh, internal parts are ready. Then what I did from that point on is I uh, took my uh, my site and I launched Visual Studio. You have that here. And I created uh, two controllers and uh, two views using a Razor. So uh, let's dive into it. But this is the page I created where I added the uh, MVC player function. Uh, and I asked for the uh, home view. And uh, this, is, uh, this is what we see here. So let's go look at the, uh, the home controller. It's right here. Uh, it's uh, Actually, I don't need this, so I'll just skip this part. It uh, drops a string uh, into uh, a view data called to greet, and it's uh, returning a view. In this case, uh, I'll get the uh, default uh, index uh, view from my views folder, which we have right here. Here we are outputting uh, the to greet variable. I, uh, I uh, Add it to my model um, data, and uh, just uh, some static content, production content, and a uh, action link uh, to another view, uh, which I'll be diving into shortly. So this piece here is uh, MVC. It's Razor. Uh, might recognize the syntax, and uh, so this is uh, the result I'm getting by by adding my my function here. I just quickly show you how you can uh, do uh, a bit more fancy stuff. Uh, I also created a pages controller, uh, taking an optional uh, integer, and if I don't get an integer, I'll set it to 10. Then I'll go instantiate the uh, data connection object, with this, which is a cover site C1 specific thing, which allows you to get at any data, both the core data and any data types you, you may define uh, through UI. Uh, here I'm grabbing just uh, the page uh, data, uh, ordering it by title, and then I'm uh, taking the first uh, 10 results if I don't get uh, a parameter i. Um, and then I'm storing that for my view, and uh, I'm just storing how many pages uh, I'm uh, maximum expecting to get, and I'm returning a new view. If we go look at the view, we have it here. I have a small include statement, so I can uh, go get type safety down here. Um, I'm outputting the page count number, so I'll have a heading saying top 100 pages or top 10 pages and so on. 
uh, to a table, and I for each uh, uh, through each uh, page result, I get outputting the uh, title and uh, the date, and doing a uh, some date formatting on it. So if we return and try to click this link, this is linking to my pages view. So here I get top ten pages uh, ordered by title as specified in the controller and the, and the published dates. Here they're uh, formatted using uh, uh, American uh, English American format. Uh, this is, of course, if, if you're creating a German page or a Danish page and so on, uh, this will uh, automatically just work. Okay, so I try to add uh, uh, two here, and we get two pages. So this is uh, basic uh, MVC uh, running. Yeah. Now, of course, because the data type system in Copper Site C1 is uh, type safe and it's base based, uh, I can uh, get intelligence on all data properties, including those I create new with the wizards inside the C1 console. So, if you wanted to output, uh, say, the menu title, just go and ask for that one. Sorry, I have some Visual Studio Foobar here. Back, we'll refresh, and of course we get new titles like this. So uh, you can use uh, MVC Razor in Cover Site C1. Uh, an important uh, point is uh, you can also use uh, classic ASP.NET forms or controls. You can even have it on the same page. This could come from uh, controls. This could be Razor. You can also uh, use uh, raw uh, C sharp output uh, markup. Uh, you can use uh, XSLT. Uh, we have some pretty neat XSLT features in the system also. And uh, there are some simple uh, HTML templating features as well. If uh, you don't know CoverSite you want, go check us out. You'll find us on www.coversite.net. Uh, We're free open source. We're .NET powered. You can run on XML or SQL Server. We have linked data interaction, so you can move back and forth. And uh, you have a lot of options. So start out by downloading us via WebMatrix. Thanks.